Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is March 26th, 2012, and we've got guys getting ready for this report on Friday. So Friday morning, we do have USDA releasing not only quarterly stock numbers, but also acreage numbers. And uh, we feel that the quarterly stock numbers are probably going to be more uh, more of a market mover here than the acreage numbers. But uh, expectations are to see uh, larger numbers uh, as far as corn is an acreage. So we're looking for an increase in acreage on that. Um, but on beans, kind of the questionable one. As far as acreage, looking at that as a whole, you had Reuters come out with a uh, one of their polls uh, where they surveyed about 20 different analysts coming out with a trade estimate. And uh, that estimate is actually uh, looking at an increase of almost uh, 400,000 acres of beans. Uh, so if we do find a, a larger increase than that, that might be looked at as a little bit bearish. This market certainly didn't look at that here today. 13 and 3 quarter cents higher in the beans, uh, 8 and 3 quarters higher in the corn. Uh, I'm sorry, 8 and 3 quarters lower in the corn. That's after being up about 9 cents at one point. Uh, so we did find corn kind of reversed by the end of the day, uh, but wheat did stay higher. Wheat up 5 and a quarter cents as well. Uh, the corn market backed off here. We went up to some, some good resistance once again, uh, but that May contract did finish down below that 640 area. Um, it looked like we did have uh, some of the, the longs in the market uh, looking at getting out of some of their, uh, their positions and looking at more profit taking. So that could end up pressuring us here as we get closer to the report. Guys are looking for corn to be bearish off the report and looking for a friendlier bean number. So we'll see what they have to say on that. The outside markets didn't find much help today. The dollar down about 48 cents, um, but with that, crude oil up about 15. But the ones that did find more support is your, your metals, gold and silver. Gold up 30 bucks, silver up 50 cents. These are some big moves. And, um, you know, after finding quite a bit of pressure over the last several weeks, uh, last week we found a little recovery, but today a very good gain here as far as the metals. And we'll see if that can stay consistent. If this dollar continues to pull back, we should end up finding metals, uh, find some more support, and maybe try to find more of a boost uh, as we go through the week. Livestock, you got fat cattle right now. They're unchanged. They've come back uh, after more of a, uh, a little bit bearish uh, cattle on feed numbers there Friday. They did finish today about unchanged. Uh, we had hogs down about 25 cents. But hogs at this point, we do... Uh, we are looking for more of a seasonal bottom coming in this week as we get into April. Uh, we typically see that, but we need to see the cash market turn around first. So can we start to see more consistent levels as far as cash and maybe see them try to work a little higher? That may boost up uh, our futures as well. But we are looking for more of a seasonal bottom coming in here this week, so we'll continue to watch for that. But today you have the April hogs down about 25 cents, so following their trend and continuing to work a little bit lower. Uh, give us a call over here. This week's going to be a very busy week with this report coming up. Make sure that you've got uh, you've got your hedges in place. Make sure you've got uh, your cash protected. As we get into that report, we could see a pretty violent uh, last few days of this week. And um, make sure that you you've contacted us and uh, and certainly asked us any questions that you might have. Uh, you can reach us here, 800-262-7538, or check us out right here on the web, allendale-inc.com. Have yourself a great day, and good luck the rest of the week.